two, one. Hi team, good morning. It is the day of the shoot. I'll show you my quick little outfit. I'm gonna try to run and get a smoothie before I have to leave. Let me show you what we're rocking with. Very basic go-to Chloe outfit. This tank is one of my default tanks. It's like my most comfy, my 007 tank that I love so much and I wear all the time. A little like cheetah bra situation under it. And the bra is also thrifted. These shorts are from Cotton. I love them. They're some of my favorite shorts ever now. I get such good use out of them. Really comfortable to wear throughout the day. And we're gonna be in this outfit all day. So we need that, that's what we're looking for. My feet got busted up yesterday because I wore these shoes for a woke and I just got insane blisters in like 15 minutes because it was so hot and my feet were so crammed. So I have like four band-aids on the backs of my ankles. I wanted to wear some kind of sock, but my like white socks looked kind of stupid. So I'm doing these little nylon socks and then my loafers, Steve Madden loafers. I'm doing this Marc Jacobs bag. After the shoot, I'm assisting with a show. We are carrying quite a lot today because some of the looks are like winter wear. We just have a lot of fur jackets and chunky things. So I definitely will have to Uber. I'm really excited to see the set too. I haven't seen any sneak peeks and stuff and we're working with some really amazing set designers and lighting photographer. I'll try to film maybe a little like post shoot debrief and I could chat about it all because I really want to talk about this team. I'm so excited to work with everybody and meet everybody. So I want to talk about that process after maybe if I can, if I'm not too beat tonight, but we'll see. I think there's an after party after the show. Yeah, that's the vibe. Okay, I'm gonna go get breakfast. We'll see how much footage I can get. Obviously, I'll be styling and working um, and I obviously don't have an assist on this. It's an unpaid for funsy shoot, so I don't want to make anybody work for free. Anyways, okay, gonna go. Talk to you when we get there.
So we wrapped the shoot. It was amazing. <laughs> My hair's getting everywhere. I cannot wait to see the pictures. Such a good team. Had the absolute best time. Now I just got to Market Hotel where the Bellum show is. And I am now running to Beacon's Closet to give me a black looking shirt because my dumb ass didn't remember to wear a black shirt this morning for the show because obviously I didn't have to for the shoot. Now I'm going to get a black shirt because I don't want the red to be distracting. My camera stopped recording. I have no idea what footage I just got. And I was blabbering on. If it didn't get this, I'm assisting Maddie Boat Milk on Instagram. I'll put her Instagram here. And Henry as well, his Instagram here. They're amazing. I saw all the looks, they look insane. Miles, who's the designer, is absolutely incredible. This is an entirely latex collection, so that's super sick. So also just like, I mean, they got the lubing up process down cat, but something I just gotta brief myself on. So very chilled in there. They were like, no stress kind of thing. So I'm running to Beacon's Closet now. So I was up too late and that just slipped my mind and that usually never happens and I feel really bad. So I'm running to go get a black shirt. Get back, we're gonna grind. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can, but I'm not sure how much that'll be. And also people will be changing backstage a lot, but I'm very excited to be helping with the show. Ryle and Wills are both walking in it and then Fefi is producing it. Solomon is playing the show. Absolutely incredible people. So excited to be here, but my dumbass forgotten black shirt. And I'm pissed. And of course the only black thing I have in my suitcase and all my like 5,000 bags that I brought for this past shoot is a black cone bra from Screaming Beamies, which like, okay. Not for when I'm shoving a bunch of people into latex. We need something that can move. Something that might get a lot of oil and lube on it. Okay, love you dearly. That's my update. Shoot went amazing. So grateful for that amazing team. And now this amazing team, well, it's gonna be great. Okay, I'll talk to you later. It was $7. Tried to find the cheapest black shirt in there. <laughs> D-Mac gang. <laughs> I just got off the phone with Charlotte. I'm styling her for potential opportunity, but the team that she's coordinating with is like being super not transparent and communicative. So that's been super frustrating, but ideally we're going to be styling that in the next few days and pulling things. So that's going on. So just got off that call. Um, I'm packing up, just checking off to make sure I have everything in each pull and then we're gonna go. Then I'm making a list of all the addresses. Then we're gonna go down the line and just return everything. Packing this up here. All of these are each individual pulls. And then we have one, two, three are all different places we need to go and then all of these are all different places we need to go and I'm ideally gonna put a lot of these like small bags in this 
a puri bag and go from there but return days are absolutely brutal this is when i really wish i had help but i just feel like somebody doing returns for free they're not really learning anything or getting anything out of it so i just feel bad for like a school credit thing where it's just like i just feel bad making you run errands like it's just i can't so it's a whole dilemma for me with the unpaid help vibe because i could use some help right now but it's totally fine also like could use if this shoot was like a paid thing obviously i'd have the budget to like uber messenger and uber me around and whatever all of that but i don't so a lot of this needs to be done by hand and then the furthest away ones are ones that i just like can't accommodate today i might have to uber messenger and just cover those costs myself so we'll see but okay gonna finish wrapping this stuff up also ugh, i want to talk about the shoot and the show Everything was so perfect yesterday. Everybody I worked with was so incredible. I'm like so beyond. I'm gonna put everybody's Instagram, the team thing. I'll put their Instagrams and stuff in the description. But God, Maddie and Henry absolutely killed the vellum show. It was so good. Their styling and their styling duo was just incredible to witness. And I love them as human beings as well. They're incredible. Um, Miles is so talented and like so down to earth it was just like so grateful the whole time which was incredible and it was so insane to see his work and everything come to life feffy blows my mind every goddamn time her production's incredible saul her boyfriend solomon played like he and band played during the show which was absolutely incredible they're an insane duo i just and then all the models were so incredible with such like a sick group of people everybody was so cool and like everybody's hair and personal style and aesthetic and like walk and just energy was so cool and stuff seeing will's walk was incredible and like amazing it was his first runway it was so cool that i was there to see it i went to college with him and he just got signed and just, oh, it's just like so exciting and then ryle seeing her walk a model dropped out the day of the show so then she stepped into walk which is incredible she's obviously a friend but then works knows feffy works with feffy at tyler which is crazy because i worked with feffy at tyler as well so we're all just like looped in and like a beautiful family so we were all together and that was really really cool and the looks came out so good i'm so proud of maddie and henry they did such a good fucking job and miles he was like i have no notes he was like everything looked perfect I, it was incredible so i'm just so happy for him and for everybody that was involved i just i'm so like proud of them and like the work that they were able to accomplish so that was so beyond and i literally like maddie and henry were like chloe like go watch the show like sit out there enjoy it like whatever like you can go and watch but i was like low-key like i kind of want to be back here it's such a unique experience to be like backstage during a show and when all the models come in and like before like you know when the designer does like a little speech and when the models come back after like doing the show and like the energy backstage i always cry <laughs> I always tear up. It's just the most, it's just so beautiful. And it really, really, like yesterday, really reminded me of why I love what I do and I love styling and I love fashion. Honestly, I really do. It's such a fucked up, cursed industry, but I really do love it. And it's just like everybody that I worked with was just pure. And I'm like, okay, meeting people like that and working with people from the shoot to the show just gives me a lot of hope. There's a lot of vision and heart out there still. So it's not all so brutal. Anyways, that was amazing. And then the shoot was so incredible. Working with Lyda and Ava on set, they like really made everything come to life. Stella, there were two Stellas. Stella helped us with like the cone and set. And then Stella was the redhead model. Absolutely stunning. So fab. Izzy, Izzy May was our other model. Absolutely killed it. And then Izzy did the makeup which was so beyond that frosted bee frosty to like get into that so sick her makeup is just so beyond and i want to look like both of these girls at all times like it was just so major and then t did hair which looked incredible i was like so impressed everything came together perfectly everybody was so kind so encouraging like so nice about my work and then obviously all the designers had incorporated everybody was it was all women and small brands and they were just like so eager to learn about everybody that i incorporated and it was just like very cool and i was all women on the shoot and it was just like very comforting and encouraging set it was great so the shoot went went well i'm really excited to see the photos I'm so grateful to all the designers that allowed me to pull. And now I'm going to return their things. I love you. I'm going to put you guys in my bag. I'm going to pack all this up. And then we're going to go out. I might have to do two trips back and forth. I'm not sure if I can carry everything. So we'll see. Okay, vibe check. Had to clip my hair up. Crocs, cargos. Like, it's serious, this outfit. We need to be comfy. Okay? So we're grubbing. Love ya. Let's go. been made 
So now I'm going to drop off at Accent PR. This, grab my bag. I'm trying to like plan what makes sense location-wise as well as like what's heaviest for me to carry. You know what I mean? So this fur coat, it's gonna be real nice to get rid of. Be a little more hands-free. So we're going to Accent now in Soho and then might cross over to Lower East Side, drop off the shoes at Seven Wonders Collective brand shoes. Those are also really heavy and I'll just be like right by the BDFM. Um, and then we could do the like West Side stuff, like screaming and Ease and Bell the Label and yeah, all that. Really sweating. Just dropped off that accent. Both Steph and Olivia were there, so that was lovely. Got to hug my girls. Almost to Seven Wonders, Lower East Side now. I'm back to Grand Street Subway, taking it over to West Fourth, transferring, and then we're gonna go to two more stops on like the West Side. Um, and then I have like three more things that I had to leave at home that I couldn't carry. So we'll see, but we need to get coffee for real. After these next two drop-offs, we're around the corner from the La Cologne. We're thinking we maybe stop there or way cheaper route, just go dunk it. The window. Next up is Screaming Mimi's. It's hitting. It's hitting, it's hitting. Now that I think of it, America runs on Duncan is literally such a good slogan. I'm high key running on Duncan right now. That's all I'm saying. Just got off the call with the Adidas team because I'm going to work there tomorrow and do another like showroom fitting thing like I've done in the past. I feel like I've vlogged that. Um, and I'm assisting Sierra and working with Steph again. My girl. Now I'm about to do the last of the returns. So I've got this guy and then this coupe bag. We are headed out um, and that is the last of them. Then we have to rush back here. I have to send out a bunch of pull inquiries for Charlotte because that is happening. The event that we're, the project that we're doing. I don't know if I can even, we don't know. We don't know a lot of things, but what I do know is that I can start sending out pull requests. So that's the plan. Let's go. The returning coupe, I guess Larkin works in the Chrysler building. Oh my God, last return. God bless. <laughs> Thank you team for watching part two. I adore you. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. Do let me know if you like the kind of part one, part two vibe for shoot vlog versus like an all in one kind of vibe. Let me know what you think. Okay, I hope you have a great week. I'm sending you all my love and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.